You're listening to Let's, Let's Go Racing. I am Mike Babbitts, your host and the voice of the Wilmot Raceway. WilmotRaceway.com, your source for the 2019 schedule that's going to be opening up before we know it on Saturday, April the 27th. And also on Saturday, April the 13th will be the first ever outdoor car show, racing show, motorsports show, downtown Wilmot on the streets and the parking lots of the various businesses in Wilmot. That'll be on Saturday, April the 13th uh, from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. It is free and it's open to any type of motorsports. You don't have to compete at Wilmot Raceway's Third Mile Clay Oval on the Kenosha County Fairgrounds. You are welcome, as well as uh, classic cars, Show. street rods, you name Downtown. it. All of that is welcome. So uh, to contact me, Mike Babbitts, at Michael Babbitts, B-A-B-I-C-Z, at AOL.com. Also, Libertyville Manor, Generations of Care, Young at Heart Preschool, located on Route 137, otherwise known as Peterson Road and Buckley Road, in Libertyville, Illinois, your source for your all your family's needs, whether it be a six-week-old or 106 years old. Libertyville Manor Generations of Care, Young at Heart Preschool can help you out. And uh, contact us at our new website, and we're excited about that. That launched just a couple weeks ago. Um, and also with me, of course, in the studios is Coach Papa. Tim Good Stewart. morning. Good morning there, Coach Papa. Coach Papa also happens to be the soccer coach at Wilmot High School. Are, are we still working on a, uh, a game on April 13th? Go Panthers. I am working on one of two possibilities. Uh, we have a cross-border rivalry, Johnsburg, my old high school where I used to be the head soccer coach, or we're going to do an alumni game where I'll bring back former players from the uh, the school to play against the current current team. If all else fails, we'll scrimmage ourselves. And, uh, but there will be something happening at uh, Wilmot High School at the same time as the uh, at the racing. All right, as the racing show. And uh, also, it's my understanding, talking to Steve Sinclair, that there will be a technical inspection that day. And there is a possibility, weather permitting, that uh, later on in the afternoon, after the show ends in town, that there will be a practice session at Wilmot Raceway. Again, that is a possibility all depends upon Mother Nature. Uh, joining us on the phone lines right now, all the way from Speedway, Indiana, is Zachary Tinkle. Uh, we appreciate Zachary's mother, uh, Lauren, Lauren uh, who has just been fantastic in uh, making this all happen. And also uh, want to explain kind of how we did get connected with Zachary. Uh, Wilmot Raceway, also uh, 21 six The Net, as well as myself and Coach Papa, are very much involved in bringing Joe Gibbs, the legendary coach. The coach. The coach, Joe Gibbs, uh, whose team swept the podium at this year's Daytona 500. Denny Hamlin, of course, the winner. And it was Gibbs cars one, two, and three. And he is going to be coming in to speak on his game plan for life. And that will be on Wednesday, Wednesday, June the 26th at the Rockford Speedway in the uh, Forest Hills Lodge. Uh, tickets are available. Tickets are already going. We are already have, uh, I believe, what, Coach Papa, two table sponsors? Three. Three. Three table sponsors already. Yeah, I brought on two. All right. And, and yours are? We want to give them credit. Denny Norton, Performance Unlimited. All righty. And Chris Dunlap, Dunlap Financial Services. All righty. That is awesome. And, of course, our very first one was Tinkle Motorsports. Tinkle Motorsports. All the way from Speedway, Indiana. Uh, Zachary's mother got in touch with me and said they would take a table. Uh, if you have an organization or a race team that would like a table, get in touch with myself, Michael Babbitts, B-A-B-I-C-Z, at aol.com and you can also get in touch with bob blazer bob b-o-b -B, period blazer b-l-e-s-e-r at gmail.com 
or you can call him at area code 708-269-2190. Uh, the doors will open at about 7 o'clock. Uh, things will start around 7.30. Everything will be concluded at right around 9 o'clock. And afterwards, you will have an opportunity to meet and greet Coach Gibbs, get a photo taken with him, put on his Super Bowl ring, and also... Is, uh, is that a Bears Super Bowl ring? No. Oh. He was smart. He got with the Redskins. Oh, look at you. Oh. oh. <laughs> so, anyway, that'll be Wednesday, June the 26th. Uh, there are limited tickets available because there's limited seating available, and we thank the Deary family and Rockford Speedway and Mary out there with uh, Forest Hills Lodge with uh, for working with us on this this big, huge event. Uh, the whole idea is that when you sponsor a table maybe it is not just your race team that sits at that table that some of the tickets are able to be given away and donated to a youth organization yeah for a perfect example of that is uh, denny norton he's uh he's going to take two seats at the table the tables are 10 so there'll be eight seats available for uh youth from around the rockford area or even from up up this way i'm also going to sponsor at least one team from my high school uh, Wilmot High School. I'll bring either one table or two tables of uh, boys and girls from my uh, program. That's fantastic. Also, the Chicago Area Alternative Education League. League. Uh, this was begun a long time ago by a gentleman who has since passed, John Martin. His daughter, Sarah, is continuing that legacy. And they are very interested in having some of their youth that are in that program because they happen to have a school that is involved with kale in Belvedere, and they also have one in Woodstock, and they're going to work to have youngsters and young people from those schools uh, attend the event. And one person that's going to be attending the event, uh, we'll bring them to the, uh, to the phone lines now, is Zachary Tingle. Uh, Zachary is a race car driver. Uh, currently a race car driver, and he began his racing career, from what I understand, from what mom told me, at the Rockford Speedway. Zachary, welcome to the program, and uh, tell our listeners a little bit about your racing career, kind of where it started and where it's at now. Yeah, I yeah I, I started uh, I started yeah started out in my uh, started out in the mini cup with the half size uh cars at the at you know starting out when one of the first tracks I ran uh was back for Speedway because we were in a we were in a touring series when I started out. So uh we did we did uh we did at Rockford Speedway and uh we've become good friends with the Deeries over the years. Um and uh I uh we I won the uh national short track championship at for the Mini Cup division at Rockford in 2015, and won the uh, 2016 Rockford Speedway Mini Cup Track Championship. That is awesome. And uh, go ahead. Yeah, and currently I race a uh, I race a late model, and I'm going to be running the full uh, Morse Welding CRA uh, late model Sportsman Series this season. And also some extra races at Anderson Speedway. Now, in, in looking at your your website, uh, which happens to be ZacharyTinkle.com, and uh, Coach Popples, see if he can pop that up there for our our listeners and viewers out there. Uh, you uh, you were recently featured in the January twenty third edition of the Press Speedway Town Press West Side Messenger that had a photo and a story on your winning the PGG Sportsman of the Year Award during the uh, Champion Racing Association Banquet. Um, Hold on. I'm, I'm looking at this picture of Zachary Tinkle. Are you old enough to have a driver's license? <laughs> uh, no, I don't have one currently. <laughs> but he is 16, and he does drive race cars. And he's won a couple – that. Dude, you have a future. <laughs> uh, well, and according to the stats here, he's got 13 starts, two top fives, and 11 top tens out of 13 starts. Now, do the math. 
<laughs> that's pretty good percentage. That's not a bad start. That, that's a better <laughs> yeah, percentage was, than Kyle Bush's yeah, percentage. Yeah, last year was my rookie year too. So, <laughs> congratulations, young it's man. A late model. That, that's uh, that's that's amazing. I'm really proud of you. Um, Thanks. Tell us a little bit about what got you started back at Rockford Speedway, and and how young were you when you first uh, raced and competed at Rockford Speedway? Um, I think I was twelve. Yeah, twelve when I uh, ran my first race at Rockford, and uh, I kind of always, you know, wanted to be a race car driver. You know, it's something I, I, mom says I came out the womb wanting to race. So, uh, yeah, it's just something I've always wanted to do. And, yeah, and, you know, we, we uh, you know, found the mini cup racing, and uh, we went and, you know, Body mini cup, and we started racing. And uh, th now, first of all, obviously, I, I, at least I don't think you were commuting from Speedway, Indiana, all the way to Rockford, Illinois, to race. Uh, no, I, I used I lived up in uh, I lived up in Chicago at the time. Okay, and then what uh, what got you moved down to Speedway, Indiana? Uh, just to be closer, you know, since it's. It's uh, my dad uh, changed jobs, so that's the reason why we moved. Because he he ch he worked in Chicago. Because we uh, he you know so he changed jobs, so that's why we moved to Chicago. And you know then he changed to another job, and that's why we moved back to Speedway where we currently are. And plus, it's we also decided to move because it's you know much closer to the you know the racing around here, you know, to the CRA, because, you know, the races are almost all the races this year, except for one or for the uh, late models that I'm going to be running this year in, in Indiana. So it's much more convenient to be in Indiana running, you know, when almost all your races are in Indiana. Well, there also happens to be a, a little place called Indianapolis Motor Speedway, which is not far at all from Speedway, yeah. Indiana. And I, and oh, no, I, yeah. It's just, <laughs> it's just down the road from here. So, hey, uh, Zachary, a little uh, a little maintenance here. I just went to your Facebook page and posted the video, but it says <clears throat> the manager of the page has to approve the video. So if you want to approve that real quick, then this uh, this interview will be live on your I, Facebook I page as well. Because you need to approve it. Or, or I'm right, sure. Right. Uh, I, I was going to say I'm sure mom can handle that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, mom. My mom's trying to do it right now. I don't. I don't know how to, that works. So. <laughs> That's what you have a mom for. Mom uh, handles the PR. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, well, I, I, I'll tell you. Uh, I mean, uh, you've had an amazing career already, and um, let's talk a little bit about the type of car. Some. Because you know, folks are hearing you mention CRA late model. Uh, for folks that might not be familiar with what type of car that is, because literally, Zachary, we are listened to and tuned in by folks all over the world. So, not yeah. that we want to make you nervous, so but <laughs> go ahead. Yeah, it's basically you know an asphalt late model. You know, it's it's a normal asphalt late model like you have, uh, but. It's not the it's not like the dirt lake model, but it's you know an asphalt lake model like you would find at at Rockford Speedway or any other pavement local short track, but most of them. So it's uh, basically an asphalt lake model just to. Um, but you know there are there are obviously some slightly differences to ensure that uh, that to ensure uh, to keep the cost down and to make sure that uh, it's you know more fair. But I don't, but those are just a few parts, but all in all, it's basically an asphalt late model that we race, and we just uh, enter it in the races. And there are some, sometimes, you know, there are some things that are different, but there's only, like, most tracks are use the same uh, rules as CRA, so, uh, but, you know, they're, which are, you know, use the same rules for CRA, so it's basically just an uh, normal asphalt late model that you would find at any local short track like like Rockford Speedway uh, that you would find. 
Now, since, you know, although the series is primarily or all run in Indiana, um, since the rules are very similar to what you would run in a uh, late model or a super late model at Rockford, any possibility that we might see uh, Zachary Tinkle at Rockford Speedway in the late model this year? Uh, not this year. Uh, uh, not this year because of uh, the not this year because of my schedule. But hopefully, if the uh, if I get funding, maybe I'll come out for a race in 2020 if the if the funding is there. Now, uh, I know they have a lot of special events at Rockford as well. The uh, ARCA REMAX Midwest Tour uh, comes into what Rockford uh, a couple of times. And is there any possibility or how close is your car to being legal to compete with the, uh, the REMAX Tour? Uh, it, it should be perfectly. Yeah, it should be perfectly legal. I don't see they use it much. Uh, they... They pretty much most of the series use a universal uh, rule. Basically, use a universal rules, uh, except for one or two changes, which are just basically like you just can't have, you know, example, you just can't have the camper so much on for one series versus another. It's, it's just minor, you know, minor stuff like that. But most of the time, um, you know, obviously, if I probably was going to do that, I'd have to. I have a crate motor. I have a six or two crate motor in my car right now, so uh, we might. I don't know if their rules mandate mandate that you have to have a super late model motor, like like in the Midwest Tour or not. But yeah, that would be something we'd have to look into. And of course, this year, uh, racing on the ovals, returning to the Milwaukee Mile, Bob Sargent's crew is uh, bringing in a special event, uh, working with Greg McCarns, and the uh, ARCA Midwest Tour Series is going to have a 100-lap event there on Father's Day afternoon. Um, I don't know what the CRA schedule is. Uh, I know you said you probably wouldn't come up to race, but any possibility you might come up and uh, do a little scouting and kind of see what's going on uh, there at the Milwaukee Mile? Probably not. Okay, you just got a tight yeah, schedule. Yeah, that would be pretty much a different, definite no because of the, uh, you know, simply because, you know, uh, it's such a large uh you know, such a such a long trip because that'd be that'd be at least that'd be at least five hours for me. So, uh -huh. and I think I might have something else that that weekend. So, yeah, I, it would be it wouldn't be it wouldn't be very possible. Okay, well, you know, at least you're honest about it. And 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 I what I'm amazed by here, Tim, is is this young man's already got his priorities set. He says, okay, you know, yeah, I I wouldn't mind racing in that, but not this year. And no, I'm not going to drive five hours just to watch a race. I can, you know, do that on in front of my television. Um, so, uh, uh, what about the size tracks that the CRA series runs on? Uh, of course, Rockford is a is a, a tight quarter mile. It's been that way since it was built. Yeah, we run. Uh, we we run pretty. We run all sorts of different tracks. A lot of them are very unique from each other. We've got you know the the high bank full ring, a quarter mile of Anderson Speedway. It's a lot like Rockford in, in that sense. Uh, and then we go to the, you know, the high banks of Winchester and, you know, half, high bank half mile Winchester. And then, then we also race that. We have two races this season at IRP. Uh, and I think uh, we have, we're going to have uh, one race at Chilcare in Ohio. And that's a um, quad oval uh I think half mile, I believe, and we're going to run Mount Lawn a few times as well. And uh, Mount Lawn, yeah, we're going to run Mount Lawn twice. It's it Mount Lawn's uh, m one of my favorite tracks on the schedule because it's uh, it's actually very unique. I don't know if you've ever seen the track, but it used to be a baseball diamond, and mm -hmm. they turned it into a race track. So it's basically kind of like a baseball diamond. So, uh, but we also run in. Uh, we're also going to run at Fairfield Motorsports Park as well. So you got a you got a pretty busy schedule there. Uh, when when is the first race of the season for the CRA Series? March thirty first at Lucas Oil Raceway. 
Well, you don't waste yeah, any course. time. You're going to be racing in a couple of weeks here. And uh, and then yeah, uh, we, then when does the season wrap up? The season wraps up on the 12th of October at Winchester. Okay, so it's spread out pretty good. You're going to be uh, racing, hopefully, when the snow is not flying anymore. Uh, and uh, the, yeah. you, you'll be finishing, hopefully, when the snow isn't flying again. <laughs> one, one or the other. Yeah, it typically hasn't snowed in October, so hopefully <laughs> we're good for that. There you go. Well, that's the same week up to the Winchester 400, so. Uh, you know, uh, we always let, the, and we're going to kind of shift gears, uh, no pun intended, after I our, think our, that our, pun was intended. Uh, our <laughs> commercial break here shortly, but I um, would like to, uh, we always like to give our, our guests an opportunity to plug uh, their marketing partners, those that work with them to help them get to the racetrack uh, each and every race night and race event. Uh, and also, this is your chance to uh, credit any uh, family members, any friends, uh, anybody that helps you on your race team. So, so this is your time, Zachary. Go, go for it. Yeah, and we've got, you know, we've got a, a new crew for this year, and you know, I have to give a big, uh, you know, have to give a big thanks to you know Danny Trent, who's going to be my crew chief, and. Obviously, uh, you know, Brandon Grant, who's going to be my spotter, they have a lot of experience and, uh, and, you know, uh, in what they're doing respectively. And they're very, very good at what they do. And, uh, I have to, you know, obviously I got to thank, uh, mom and dad for allowing me to, you know, live my dream and, you know, uh, giving me, allowing me to chase my dream. And, uh, I'd like to also thank, you know, uh, sponsors like Left Off Press at uh, Fashion Guild and BTT Consultants. That's that's good. Good job well, there. I, I can see it now. Dad, can I borrow the keys to the race car? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Um, what uh, keys? <laughs> <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Don't need to worry about the keys. Can I borrow your fireproof suit? <laughs> there you go. Uh, speaking of that, I mean, uh, you've mentioned, of course, that you started at Rockford um, in uh, in the um, what they call the kind of mini cup type cars there. What about the family? Uh, was your family already involved in racing? Is you know who got you uh, uh, piqued your interest and got you started in racing? Um, I think I've just always had an interest for it, but uh, no, we weren't. We didn't have. Uh, we weren't. We didn't have, uh, we were definitely not, uh, quite, quite the opposite, uh, of being involved in racing. We, uh, you know, I, I used to, you know, always watch NASCAR as a kid. And that's probably what, you know, I would say what got me into it. And I, uh, my, uh, my grandfather has since passed, but, uh, he used to work on bikes and, uh, old cars. And so I think that's what, uh, piqued my interest too. But, uh, you know, my family, either my mom and dad weren't very mechanical because uh, didn't have we weren't very mechanical when we, especially when we first started out. So we just uh, we didn't they didn't know how to work on a car, nor did I. So it's been uh, it's been an interesting journey. Now, as you've been going along, you know, obviously as we just mentioned you're you're 16 years old. You mentioned your your crew that you've got coming on board. Are any of them around your age, or is everybody older than you, or is it kind of a mixture? Uh, yeah, they're they're, they're all definitely older than I am. So <laughs> you you need that experience, right, to kind of help you out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, Danny Danny's raced over over twenty years, and he's and he's moving to you know the the crew chief role this year, and he's he's still going to race a few times this year, and his uh, his own car. So, you know, he carries a lot of experience both on working on on his own car and uh, driving experience that will help me a lot as, you know, as I develop and as I get experience with his, you know, with his, uh, with his advice and uh, that, that comes over 20, you know, his experience comes over 20 years of late model racing experience. Again, folks, we're talking with Zachary Tinkle. He is a CRA, uh, 16-year-old, young man, CRA 
late model driver from Speedway, Indiana, but we're also talking to him uh, because of his interest in Coach Joe Gibbs, and uh, he, he and his family and his race team were the first ones to sponsor a table for Coach Gibbs' Game Plan for Life Outreach Breakfast. That'll be Wednesday, Wednesday, June the 26th at the Rockford Speedway uh, on their, uh, their grounds at the actually the Forest Hills Lodge, which is in Rockford, Illinois. We're going to take a short break uh, and uh, you know, give some credit to the folks that help us pay the bills here at 216 The Net. And uh, Coach Papa, well, take it you, away. You know, if you spend too much time in the car, this might be where you want to go. All right. Natural Therapy Wellness Center, 815-385-8190. McHenryMassage.com. A massage can be a great way to pamper yourself. It can also help alleviate or sometimes even cure ailments and stress that you deal with daily. Contact us to speak to one of our certified massage therapists, Natural Therapy Wellness Center, 815-385-8190, McHenryMassage.com. And if you need a guy, if you need a guy to wrap your vehicle, this is the guy you want to check out. Sticker Dude, the creators of Final Chaos, 815-322-2480, StickerDude.com. The Sticker Dude team brings over 25 years of experience from the graphic marketing and sales industry. Contact us today to learn more before committing to your next vehicle wrap investment. We are not your corner sign shop. Sticker Dude, 815-322-2480. StickerDude.com. You've got computer issues. You've got cell phone issues. Uh, this station is powered by... XTech LLC, 815-516-8075. HTTPS colon slash slash XTech dot repair. XTech provides device repair and service plans, business servers and single computer support, web design and SEO. We also specialize in custom gaming PC builds. Contact Justin and George for IT done right the first time. XTech LLC, 815-516-8075, xtech.repair. And finally, if you're having a little bit of trouble seeing out of that windshield, Northern Illinois Windows, Inc., 815-385-6646, niwservice.com. We are a commercial and residential window servicing company. We are committed to providing the highest quality service at an affordable price. We keep your windows clean and green. Window tinting will help lower your energy bills. Northern Illinois Windows, Inc., 815-385-6646. And, of course, we broadcast 21.6 The Net, all shows, including Let's Go Racing, from the Tunyon Brothers Building, Tunyon Construction, uh, McHenry, Illinois. Uh, just check out Tunyon and McHenry, Illinois, to find out all information. Uh, there we go. We have paid the bills. You know, you, uh, Zachary, you said you are you're launching your first race this year on March 31st. Yeah, first race on March the 31st. That's two days after the 43rd anniversary of my 21st birthday. Uh, yes, I'll be 64. Yeah. I was going to say, do the math there real quick, Zachary. <laughs> well, and my point is that's exactly four times as old as young Zachary uh, Tinkle. And you have, you have accomplished so much at such a young age. What, what is, is your overall goal here? I mean, at, at 16... I was wondering where my next party was coming from. Uh, what are your plans? Uh, uh, you, uh, can you, you're kind of quiet. Can you, can you repeat the question, please? Yeah. What is your overall goal, Zachary, in, uh, with your racing? What, what are some of the things you'd like to accomplish in your career? Uh, I, I, you know, I'd like to get as high as I can and as possible, you know, if I, uh, if I get into, you know, um, if what, you know, I'm just waiting for right now, the goal is to, you know, for me is to win the, uh, you know, the CRA late model sportsman championship for this year. But, 
uh, you know, all in all, the goal for me is to have, uh, uh, you know, is to, the goal is to me is to, you know, get into maybe a, a, a high, high level, you know, any, you know, getting into a high level, whether that be NASCAR or IndyCar or even like something like IMSA, you know, it's, it would be, you know, it would be good for me to get to that point, and that's where I'd like to go. Perfect. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, it, it, it's kind of interesting that we've got you on this week uh, because next week we're going to be talking with some representatives from uh, the Southeastern Wisconsin Auto Racing Hall of Fame and the Wisconsin Auto Museum, who is ha- and they are hosting a Young Racers Car Show on Sunday, March 24th at uh, 10 a.m., and that's up in uh, Hartford, Wisconsin. Um, And what they design, the way it's designed, I understand this is the second or third year they've done it, Uh, they actually bring in young racers, people that are racing. A lot of them are racing at various go-kart tracks in the area and, um, and are interested in expanding their racing career. And I understand they're going to have a gentleman who is racing uh, in the Xfinity series, who is actually from Menominee Falls, Wisconsin, and uh, a little bit of a surprise uh, that uh, he is going to be on hand for that event. So, uh, we always love- so that'll be coming up on March 24th, and again next week. Uh, next week's show, we're going to have someone that's going to give us more information on on that special event. You, you heard me just mention go kart racing. Uh, now, the type of racing that you did at Rockford in the Mini Cups, that is not go-kart racing, per se. Um, no. But did, did you yeah, ever? It, it, go ahead. Go yeah, ahead. N- no, it's not. It's technically speaking not a go-kart. It's, but it is it is similar to a kart, in my opinion. It's basically, I kind of view it as just a, you know, it's, not you know it's less of a stock car than it's more like a go kart than a stock car to be honest than you know it's it's basically a, a go kart with in my opinion it's kind of more of a a go kart with a stock car body on it but yeah so it it is a little bit different uh, any was there any reason or could you still possibly uh, get into go kart racing a little bit uh. No, I am i don't know why I would go down, you know, to that, but it, I'm just not really, I'm just not interested in that. You know, it's, uh, I just don't have an interest for karting. You know, I did, I did do indoor karting before I did many cups, but, uh, that, you know, I just don't have an interest for it. Uh, and actually I was just able to, to look up the Xfinity series driver that's going to be, uh, at the Auto Museum on March 24th is Josh Balicki. Uh, Josh Balicki uh, already races in the Xfinity Series, and he's from Anomaly Falls, Wisconsin. And uh, uh, he actually started, uh, I believe, at the Badger Kart Club in Dousman, Wisconsin, which is where a lot of race car drivers out of Wisconsin got their their start, including Alan Kowicki uh, used to race there. Uh, the late great Alan Kowicki that ended up winning a NASCAR championship. So uh, that again, that's on Sunday, March twenty fourth, up there in uh, Dousman, or excuse me, up in Hartford, Wisconsin, and we'll have more information on that event next week on next week's show. So you want to tune in next week. See how I got that? I did, I, I did. I just posted a picture <laughs> of uh, Zach Zachary standing next to his uh, Mini Cup car fifty three and uh, one of his wins. So. There you uh, it's go. on Facebook. Go click on it. Hey, Gary. Good evening, Gary from Singapore. You are now all around the world. Yep. So uh, see, Zachary, Gary. we told you that we do have folks that w- <laughs> watch and listen from all over the world, and we have someone in Singapore right now, a regular uh, listener of the Let's Go Racing Motorsports show here on 21.6 The Net. Um, 21.6 The Net. Zachary, so that we can explain a little bit of the format of this show and how it began. Uh, actually, I'll let Tim do it. He does it much better than I do because I'll goof it up somehow. Go ahead, Tim. Well, at 21.6, the net, we're, uh, we're really working to share the good news. There's so much bad news out there in the world. I mean, all you got to do is turn on the radio or look at your Facebook page. You're going to 
here's somebody cutting down our president or hear about somebody, you know, getting shot. And what we're trying to do here is change the, the, the face of the world at 21.6, the net. Uh, we're, we're working to make sure that everything that comes across these airwaves is going to support the good, the positive, uh, the great stuff of the world. Um, in John 21.6, uh, it talks about let's uh, you know the let's go fishing, and let's fill the net. And what we're trying to do is fill the net with all the positive people in the world. So um, this, and that's why it's such a natural for Tim and myself to be involved with uh, Coach Gibbs and his game plan for life outreach uh, breakfast that uh, is uh, Wednesday, June the twenty sixth, again uh, on the campus on the grounds of the Rockford Speedway at the Forest Hills Lodge, uh, and we certainly do encourage folks to uh, contact Bob Blazer, B-O-B, period, B-L-E-S-E-R, at gmail.com, or call him at area code 708-269-2190. Uh, you can reserve a table. You can reserve a ticket. Uh, you know, we'd like to see all the tables sponsored. Because if all the tables are sponsored, that means about 400 people will be in attendance and get an opportunity to hear the great message of Coach Gibbs. And you, you will see a side. I, I, I've seen this, this, this breakfast. I've been to it in Schaumburg. And at Schaumburg, uh, there was about 1,000 people in the venue at Schaumburg. And... Um, he shares some parts of his life, his personal life, that you don't see on television when they interview him. Uh, you haven't heard uh, about uh, about his, you know, when he won his Super Bowl championships. So I, I really, it's it's very inspirational, um, and and obviously a, a lot of folks are aware he recently lost his his son J D Gibbs. To a very rare medical uh, medical problem, neurological disorder, uh, and that just recently happened within the last few months. Uh, so I expect this this particular talk to even be more um, more enlightening from for folks. So that is on Wednesday, June twenty sixth, and and Zachary, uh, from what your mother shared with me. Uh, one of the reasons that your race team is coming all the way from Speedway, Indiana, because it's going to be a trek of probably, I would say, we could be in that five-hour range that you were talking about that it would take you to get to Milwaukee, uh, maybe even a tad longer. Uh, but you want to be there, and your race team is opening up some seats to some folks that are may not be as fortunate to be able to come on the 26th of June. Um, tell folks a little bit about why this is such an important event uh, for Zachary Tinkle and your race team. Uh, well, you know, it's very important because, you know, we've, you know, we've been good friends with the, with the, you know, the dairies and, you know, this is to support Rockford Speedway, you know, we've always, you know, we've had good relations with the dairies and, you know, they're, they're very nice people, and we wanted to do this to help support them. Well, and that's fantastic. And I understand your mom mentioned that, uh, and this is something that everyone in attendance that morning will, will receive uh, one of Coach's books, uh, Game Plan for Life. And, and incidentally, if again, it's entirely a choice of, of individuals, but if they wish to stay afterwards, after the formal program is completed, they will have an opportunity to personally meet Coach Gibbs, to get their book autographed, to have a photo taken, and uh, to actually put on his Super Bowl ring. Uh, and uh, he will not leave until everyone has that opportunity. Um, and I understand that you already have a copy of the book and have read it cover to cover. Yeah, and I, I I don't know if I I will go in the you know I so it's I won't go in the detail because I don't want to you know I don't want to be the, the spoiler um, alert spoiler alert spoiler but <laughs> you know it's got a lot of good advice in it and it's very 
uh, it's very helpful and it shows that, you know, it's a good example of why uh, I would say the mentality uh, Joe expresses in that book is, is the same mentality that has got him so many, you know, those, those Super Bowl rings and the NASCAR championships. And, uh, you know, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a very, it's a very good book and it's got a very, some very good principles in it that, uh, I think most people, uh, that I would recommend for it for, to, to pretty much anyone. Now, uh, Mike, Zachary, uh, one of the things, you know, when you look at speakers, and it's part of my life is inspirational speaking, and I look at some of the great speakers we've gone out to, and you'll pay, you know, $100,000, $150,000 for speakers that, for the quality that Joe Gibbs brings to town. Uh, but the value is not equal to the actual price here. The price that, uh, that you're going to pay as an individual uh, to come listen to uh, to the coach speak is $25. Uh, if you're going to sponsor a table of 10, it's even going to drive that down a little bit lower so that it's affordable for anybody who needs to or wants to come listen to the coach. But the cool part of this is there are so many people who are going to be sponsoring tables that if there is someone who just that, that 20 or $25 is just a little bit too much, there will still be seats available for them. Coach Gibbs makes sure of that. So if you want to be here, if you feel the desire to come hear the story, uh, get a hold of us. We will find a way to get you in a seat for Coach Gibbs. That, that's very true, Tim. And, and, and the whole way it's designed um, is, you know, like Zachary's race team, uh, like Denny Norton, and like, uh, give me the third again. Chris Help. Dunlap. Chris Dunlap. Um, you know, like they have done, um, they have stepped up and, uh, are going to make sure that there's some seats for some folks that, that might not be able to afford it. And that's where we're already in communication, like I mentioned, with the Chicago Area Athletic uh, Alternative Education Athletic League uh, that has a school in Belvedere, close to Rockford. Uh, they have a school in Woodstock that they work with, again, close to Rockford. Uh, we've already discussed that there's some schools in Lake County and we may, uh, some of them have their own transportation, so they're already taking a look at, at getting folks and getting a group to come. So um, if you've got a business out there and you want to be part of a life-changing experience for a, you know, a young person, this is a great opportunity to do it. And um, you are certainly welcome, like Denny Norton is going to do, um, and like Zachary uh, and his father are going to do, they're going to be at the breakfast. They're going to be at the table with the, the folks that they have helped sponsor seats for. So, again, if, if you're interested, get in touch with myself. Again, it's Michael Babitz, B-A-B-I-C-Z, at AOL.com. Coach Papa, you can get him at? Tim at CoachPapa.com. And uh, the third uh, in our, in our three, trio is uh, Bob Blazer that's working with us out of Chicago. Uh, it's Bob, B-O-B, period, B-L-E-S-E-R, at gmail.com. And actually, too, if, if you happen to be in the Rockford area and you get done, uh, in touch with uh, Susan or, or David Deary at Rockford Speedway or Jody Deary, uh, the matriarch of racing, as far as I'm concerned, uh, get in touch with one of them or Mary at Forest Hills Lodge. They'll get you in touch with us uh, because it is going to be a life-changing opportunity for you uh, as Zachary mentioned, we're not going to give you spoiler alert and tell you anything about the book or what Coach Gibbs is going to have to say that morning because we don't know what he's going to say. Uh, I can tell you this, that when I saw him in Schaumburg, he didn't have any notes. He spoke from the heart for uh, about an hour. So, um, you know, we don't know what he's going to say on June 26th, but I can guarantee you that it will be life-changing for you, and that's whether you're an athlete or whether you're involved in racing um, it's just like the title says it's a game plan for life and you can go to gameplanforlife.com and see more about what the breakfast uh, will be like that that morning um, kind of backing up a little bit Zachary um, you're 16 a, a 16 year old young man who drives race cars uh, does Zachary go to school 
<laughs> I, I do school online, so it's much more flexible. Okay, well that that explains that because I was trying to figure out. Okay, let's see. Mom is getting him on, so he's going to be on, and uh, she did say you have an appointment right after the show, so we uh, we don't want to goof that up. Uh, uh, how much we've got about yeah. about ten minutes or so left of the show. Uh, how does that work for you? Are we okay? Yeah, I can. Yeah, I, I think. Yeah, I can. I can stay on another ten minutes. <laughs> okay, just just want to make sure we don't want to get you in trouble with mom, especially you be in, in trouble. Yeah, <laughs> so, especially since she's your PR agent. Uh, so, um, what advice would you give to a young yeah, person? Yeah, she does a she does a she does a very good job at it. <laughs> That's for sure. Uh, what advice yeah. would, would you give to a is very is you know go ahead is uh, again you know has that. Uh, as uh, such a great value, you can't put a price tag on it. That's that's very true. Um, what advice would you give to a young person uh, that wants to get started in racing or kind of likes it? Uh, what would you recommend to them? I would I would say you know if you if you want to do it you know just do it as long as you you know if you do. Try decide to, you know, partake in racing. You know, I would say, if do it, do it as long as you're having fun. You know, I, I think it's no secret that you know racing, racing isn't very cheap. You know, and for almost any uh, part of racing, but you know, do it as long as you're, if you, you know, if you can afford to do it, I would say do it as long as you're having fun. If you're you know, do it as long as you're having fun and you enjoy it. And if, you know, you enjoy racing and, you know, and in what point, in whatever form, if you, you know, if you are driving or just, you know, want to be a mechanic, you know, on the team or whatever, it's, you know, there's many different things you can do in racing. It's not just driving a car. It's, you know, you've got, there's all sorts of different things one can do. It's, you know, it's, uh, I would say find out what in racing you want to really do, and, you know, and if you enjoy it, you know, do it as long as you enjoy doing it. Well, and and I think what I'm also hearing from you, and and I've been around racing a little bit longer than you are old, just by a few years, um, but um, but anyway, um, you know, it is a team. You have a team. Um, you know, you are the driver. You are the one that gets out there and they see Zachary Tinkle's name and they hear his name on the public address system and announced and, and uh, you know, he gets the, you know, to carry the checkered flag and do the post-race interviews and all that good stuff. Uh, but there is really a team behind you. And, uh, you know, that team obviously starts with your family. Um, you know, I, I know that Personally, you know, my wife Kathy is a, a great supporter of my racing. Uh, fortunately, from time to time, she actually sings the national anthem at some of the racetracks that I announce at, uh, which is kind of a cool. neat, neat, cool thing. Um, but you know, I I think that that's and you know what we do here at Twenty One Six The Net M with Let's Go Racing is is we just want to encourage people. And, and if their interest is racing, that's great. If their interest is and their passion is, you know, working with youth, go do it. You know, whatever your passion is, explore that passion and, and do that passion. Um, and, you know, if, if it's, uh, you know, baseball or basketball or soccer soccer or lacrosse or swimming or golf soccer. or whatever and and soccer yes coach papa is going to get soccer in there soccer. a lot <laughs> but um you know do do what it is that and and put your passion and your time and your devotion into it um education is certainly important i, I think it's great to hear that you know, you and your family have chosen that you're going to study online. Uh, I mean, today that is an option for people that, believe me, when I was growing up, we didn't even really have a computer. Online study, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. online study for me meant a fishing pole. 
<laughs> this is quite the same line. Uh, if, if you haven't figured out, Zachary, Coach Papa loves to tell jokes too. <laughs> so uh, don't take don't take everything he says, uh, uh, you know, as as fact. Oh, come on. <laughs> but he is. Um, you talk about inspirational people. I've heard Coach Papa speak a number of times, and actually, that's how we met as I saw him speak in an event and uh, he can be also very inspirational in his, in his own way, in his own right. And uh, you do a great job, well, Coach Papa. Well, thank you, but let's get back to Zachary. Let's get back to Zachary, yes. Uh, Zachary, I mean, do you, from time to time, talking about being an inspiration, do you go out to schools or scout troops or Pinewood Derbies or anything like that and and talk to young people about your experience in racing and, and your encouragement? Uh, not really yet, but, you know, I would, you know, I, you know, not really yet because of timing, but, you know, when, when I get the free time to, I would probably like to do, you know, probably more charity work, like, you know, maybe uh, charity work when, when I, when the free time is there and, you know, and I'd like to, you know, do as much as I can for, you know, charity work and promoting local short track racing. And and I like what you said there, local short track racing, uh, because that's really where all the, quote, big boys and big ladies that are racing in the big series got their starts was at local short hey. tracks. Um, correct? Yeah, exactly. And I think, you know, I honestly... Honestly, I think a lot of people, even those who have made it to the big leagues, I think they forget where they come from. And unfortunately, uh, there's, I'd say, quite a few that have forgotten where they where they came from. And you know, I mean, those local short tracks are what they're the, they're the grassroots. They're where you know they're where the you know the Jeff Gordons, the Tony Stewarts of the world. They that's where they started. And you know, racing wouldn't be racing without them. You're absolutely correct. Now, you mentioned the CRA Series has uh, a couple of races at IRP, Indianapolis Raceway Park. Uh, NASCAR used to, and I'm not sure if they're returning. I know there's been talk about the Xfinity Series uh, or the trucks or both returning to IRP for an event uh, during, quote, speed weeks uh, or the speed week uh, just leading up to the Brickyard. Uh, down at the big track. Um, have you, since you're a little bit closer to it, obviously, than we are, uh, heard any rumors, any rumblings that that could happen um, in, in, at some time in the, in the near future, um, if not this summer, maybe the following summer? Uh, no, I haven't heard any rumors for, you know, the 2020 schedule changes that are proposed, but uh, it, I haven't heard anything about putting IRP back on the schedule. Uh, I haven't really heard much about that. Uh, it sounds like there, uh, it sounds like as far as here, you know, in Indianapolis, uh, the races are going to stay the same. So all the, you know, all the NASCAR races will still be at, at Indianapolis Motor Speedway. And, uh, it doesn't look like, uh, uh, IRP will be getting any NASCAR races anytime soon. Now, the the two events that you do have at IRP are they on the schedule at a time when the NASCAR team owners, like Joe Gibbs or some of their drivers, could come and watch a CRA event, or maybe even uh, quote run a ride for a CRA event? Would it work out schedule wise, or do you know? Uh not really my not really the races in the CRA series I race in the sportsman series but you know the the CRA super series you know definitely in like you know the you know some of the super series races that I don't know if you've heard of them like you know the Red Bud 400 and the Winchester 400 that like Kyle Busch has come out or Kyle Busch has typically fielded his cars in those events and sometimes he himself has uh, come out and race in those. So yeah, it, it, it some of those races, yes. No. But not the one, not not the ones I will be racing in this year. Okay. Now, even though you're 16, 
I know that sometimes uh, team owners like Joe Gibbs uh, start looking at drivers pretty young uh, because they can pick up that talent. Uh, they just got a knack for picking up that talent. Um, and we don't want to give away any secrets, but uh, have you had any talks with any, uh, any quote, big league teams? Or uh, are there any that your uh, PR agent, mom, would be uh, reaching out to in the near future? Uh, no, I mean, I haven't been approached by, uh, one of those teams of those calibers or have talked with one yet. I, I'm hoping one comes soon, but yeah, it's, uh, I haven't had any of those yet. You will. You will. <laughs> Believe let me. me. <laughs> let me make a prediction here. You will. <laughs> Um, uh, I'll tell you, our, our time is, is winding down here and, and we really, really appreciate Zachary Tinkle taking the time and, uh, appreciate his mom, Lauren, uh, for arranging all of this, uh, so that we could do this. Uh, uh again, we will see Zachary and, uh, his dad at the, uh, game plan for life outreach breakfast presented by coach Joe Gibbs at the Rockford Speedway, uh, located in the Forest Hills Lodge, part of the Rockford Speedway. That will be on Wednesday, June the 26th. Uh, again, the doors are gonna open about seven in the morning. Uh, breakfast will get underway at right around 7.30. The program starting also right around 7.30. And um, it's just gonna be a life-changing experience. Uh, uh, anything you'd like to wrap up with Zachary uh, before uh, before we let you get to uh, uh, get to that uh, online education that you need to get to? Yeah, uh, you know I've got I've got a you know meeting here, but any that uh, going to. But anyway, uh, you know to to wrap up, I would just you know I would just like to thank you guys for letting you know letting me come on the show, and you know I you know I'm, I'm very. I'm very grateful for this opportunity. And yeah, I'd just like to say, uh, you know, thank you to you guys for letting me be on the show. And I'm, I'm honored to be here. Uh, all right. Well, as we uh, get ready to close down, I do want to let you know if you stay tuned on 216 The Net, this show will air live at 5 p.m. this evening. Right after us is Slang and Hope Radio. Uh, Slang and Hope Radio is uh, not only about addicts and alcoholics or recovery. We speak about any subject followers or family need a little hope to spread. Uh, tomorrow, Tuesday, not done yet. Robbie Robertson, Tom Sellers, two cancer fighters who are encouraged people in that battle. Uh, the deep dive with Nick Espinoza talks about all things cybersecurity. If you go to 216thenet.com, 216thenet.com, check out the lineup. Tons of shows, great shows, all encouraging people and following that format at 216 the net a positivity and a bright future. Uh, today, the, the racing prayer is gonna be dedicated to a young man, a, um, a fugitive shot and killed McHenry County Sheriff Deputy on Thursday. His name was Deputy Jacob Keltner. He was working with the US Marshal uh, Service Fugitive Task Force. He leaves behind two young sons. Uh, we are, we love our law enforcement agencies here at uh, Let's Go Racing and 216 Annette. Um, so let's uh, let's put our thoughts and prayers out to the Keltner family. And Zachary, the uh, the racers' prayer is something that I do at all racing events that I I announced at uh, announced at over the years, and will continue to do. So uh, you are welcome to uh, you know just kind of listen in to what the racers' prayer is. Lord, I pray as I race today, keep me safe along the way. Not only me, but others too, as they perform the jobs they do. I know, God, that in a race, I, the driver, must set the pace. But in this race of life, I pray, help me, Lord, along the way. Although I know I am a sinner, help me to believe that with God, I'm always a winner. Amen. Amen. You've been listening to... Let's go racing. Yeah, keep the shiny side up. Keep the dirty side down. And it's time to get off the bench and get back in the game. This is Coach Papa with Mike Babbitts. And we ask you to have your best day yet.